classic. Welcome back to the Corridor Digital Podcast, episode 175. We're glad you're here, everybody. I've got some very special people with us today. We've got Griffin Thorne, the mystery man himself who keeps getting more tattoos. Which one will he get next? Yeah. A knife. I've got Jordan Allen. Yeah. This guy. (laughs) This guy, dude. And of course, the lovely Jordan Coleman, everybody. Hi everyone! Don't clap. Hello. Don't clap for that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Let the us feud the is already strong. It's already going <laughs> strong. All right. So Griffin, but for real though, I've noticed you've been getting more and more tattoos. Yeah. Yeah. This what's, is, yeah. Where's your? What's? Where's this coming from? Um, uh, I, I got my first tattoo in 2019, and I, I definitely caught the bug. And um, mm. you're in the bug phase right now. I'm I'm in the bug phase. I'm yeah. Just trying to strike the balance between um, getting getting the body suit, you know, probably maybe before I'm forty, but also Whoa. not just filling my body up with with you know stuff for the sake of doing it. Wow, okay. body suit means down to ankles up to neck. Yeah, probably I'll probably stop at the neck or like collarbone. Do you? I'm spend, actually. Uh, I'm so sorry. I'm I'm just genuinely curious. In a body suit, do you spend money on the cheeks? The butt cheeks? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It would look weird if you didn't. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's crazy. Because they're <laughs> so expensive. Like, two like... white butt cheeks and then a bunch of ink around <laughs> you know, it. You know, you know, you should do, Griffin, Griffin, you know what you should do? You should do a fake, fake whitey tidy lines around your butt <laughs> and hit and waist. Oh, that's a good idea. <laughs> that's genius. What is that sunblock? I... <laughs> you know, the, the little girl. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Pants being pulled oh, down. Yeah. That'll just yeah, be yeah, yeah. I the probably sunblock. will yeah. skip. I probably will skip the neck. I'll definitely skip this stomach for at least as long as I can because that's, that's horrendous. Yeah. But like, I'm actually um, quite afraid of needles. Um, okay. Mm. And I don't know if I can do anything like on like the the jugular. Like that sounds so scary. Ooh. Mm. Well, natural next question. Yes. Is you take it to the dark side of the moon from the cheeks to the front? <laughs> that is off limits too. I'm sure. Right. Like. No comment. <laughs> Yeah. Guess, honestly, yeah, that's an interesting like question. Covered. I don't know. Has anyone? Yeah. I'm sure somebody has had their tattoo. So, has it someone a has, tattoo on their and, they, and it may or may not have been in the shape of a dragon, oh. <laughs> which was interesting. I'm just saying. Sounds like you're talking from personal experience. Yeah, I regretted it instantly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If people are getting it pierced, people are getting it tattooed. Just oh like yeah, that. oh for sure, oh, for sure. Man. Yeah, somebody's out there. I don't. Jordan Allen, do you have any? I have none. Yeah. I have none. That is that is one thing that I swore to my dear mother I would never Aww. do. I'd never get a tattoo. Such I thought about a getting a sleeve, boy. though, at one point. Oh. I'll either do a sleeve or nothing. Okay. Yeah. Right. I, I've been, I've had that same train yeah. of thought. I've, I've had so many nightmares about tattoos. It's absolutely insane. Nightmares where I go through the process of I get the tattoo and then I get it lasered off in the within the same dream. Oh. And then I wake up check myself and i'm like Whew. what do you think that means what does that mean yeah that's interesting i think i've always went back and forth on if i wanted a tattoo and then i have the dream and i'm like i guess i don't oh okay I, it's quite I, literal then huh i guess it's a so. literal, <laughs> very literal I, dream. I, I, try, I try to be very practical yeah i dig it <laughs> yeah so, okay i don't know are you yeah. sure you're not having commitment issues Jordan? oh well yeah i get that's exactly what it is with tattoos that is a commitment that's but does huge... it mean, you know what I mean? Does oh, it mean like in other, other aspects issues? of my yeah, life? Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Nah, I, lo- I like committing to things that I, I can okay. get. I, you can get rid of a lot of things like a house, even a, a boyfriend or a husband. You can get rid of all of them. <laughs> <laughs> a ta- t- <laughs> you can. It's true. It's, true. it's, it's like, a good point. It's like a lot of work and like legality sometimes. Yeah. Getting rid of a tattoo is arguably more work. It hurts as though it's you painful. Know, it takes a long time. It's multiple sessions. You can just say I'm done. I mean, with them other things. Griffin, do you have that? Because you said you don't want to just put anything on your body. Mm-hmm. It has to mean something. For me, that well, was always the biggest limitation is I don't, I'm trying to think of something that would be valuable or mean so much to me for the entire duration of my life. And that's the yeah. hard part mm-hmm. is. So here's my advice for that. Um, this is only only my personal perspective, but I'll, the reason why I went so long without getting any tattoos was for that same reason. And then at some point I realized that my values and the things that are important to me change over the course of my life and nothing like very few things will actually remain that meaningful to me. And so it's more important to me to just get things that like my first tattoo was just something that 
in it, it was a wizard and I've just always like dug wizards and I was like I'm mm. probably not gonna hate wizards in 10 years <laughs> and so like most of my tattoos like the the snake wrapped around the knife on my chest is like not super meaningful I just thought it would look badass <laughs> and it does so I yeah, got it yeah, yeah. and some of them have some meaning to them but yeah. like um yeah I've I found like not getting too precious with them is just as important as not being like too flippant mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's kind of a tap it's a tapestry you mm -hmm. know it tells a story over time that's at least that's at least how i justified my worst tattoo what's your worst um, one? Oh, well it's it's not that it's like a bad ta idea it's just i got i got a g clef and a bass clef on my arm mm -hmm. and just the it was my first one and the guy who did it you know i just went to one of those unresearched just walked in was like hey i want a tattoo you know it's and like the fantastic sams of tattoos <laughs> oh, <laughs> you're done in 15 minutes <laughs> super cut it costs 50 bucks yeah 30 minutes or <laughs> and less you hate yeah. it. those are the three <laughs> <Yeah>. guarantees <laughs> and and i was like well you know what at least whenever i look at it it'll be a reminder of that time in my life yeah <laughs> and that's yeah. that's what it was for me um so i decided to get 100%. better ones after that Mm -hmm. after having made that mistake but only up from yeah there. yeah only, you have a, yeah only up from there because you have a, a beautiful full sleeve mm -hmm. thank you yeah that was done by a guy named josh palmer <clears throat> he's up in uh lodi stockton area um he's yeah he's great i actually met him in minnesota when i was living there but then uh we were both there for like exigent circumstances and then we ended up both back in california so <clears throat> i would go up there and see him back in my motorcycle days i would take my bike up there it was a nice ride but yeah i had the bug for a while i think it's all out of my system now with the exception of maybe a cord or perspective logo so that oh, yeah. seems worth doing yeah that for me it is doing. yeah for me it is i think it's just been such a part of my life that mm -hmm. it makes sense Absolutely. I, um, but, uh, when I was yeah. in high school, like how you guys talk about changing, I went through a time where I was super into Jesus, like very religious. So I was Christian. And then I, right after that, I became atheist. Oh, and so then I became like spiritual after that. And so I've always been in the spiritual lane. But when I was like 16 and into Jesus, I like kept begging my mom to get this Bible quote. And like she said no, and I was like in tears. I was like, "You hate me." Typical teenage stuff. Yeah, <laughs> so classic. You're the worst mom ever. Da, 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 da. I hate you. And then a year later, like I didn't even claim the man. So could you imagine if I had that tattooed on my body? Yeah. And it's like, mm -hmm. well, no wonder that like that's what parents are there for. They're like, bro, you have so much growing up and learning to do. You still want to get that quote? Then you can get it when you're 18, 19, whatever. Is that the mm -hmm. the cutoff? Is that 18? Is that when you're allowed to? We'll go, go yeah. make a decision on your own. Right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Without it, consent, without parental consent. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Unless you go to a really, unless you go to a, a like a sleaze ball or like a shady shop, which mm -hmm. if if you find a tattoo artist who's willing to tattoo you underage, you probably don't want to get tattooed in that yeah. shop anyway. That's very um, valid. Yeah. Yeah. It's not really something to mess around with, to be honest. Well, yeah. it's it's interesting because because Jake, you got the full sleeve all at once, uh, right? Or did you? Was it in pieces? Not, the first one I, mean, I not got. Not in one session necessarily, but. The <clears throat> first one I got, I was only like 20. And then I got one like a year after that. And then I didn't get one for a couple of years. And then I got a proverb. And then and then I got the sleeve. Uh, but you, only... you got like the sleeve done at once. It's one cohesive design. Mm, no, actually. I got the eagle. And then, uh, and then I got the lions. And then I got the sword with the crest on it. Mm. So you were then, like kind of spotty with it and then kept filling it in rather than like gradually <clears throat> coming down. Well, when I, when I met Josh, we started talking about doing a full sleeve. And so the idea kind of arose over the course of a few years. And it was like cool. the first thing I wanted to do was get uh, I wanted to get an eagle because in my family crest, there's a griffin and a griffin, as you might know, griffin is made up of an <laughs> eagle and a lion. And it's two of those things combined. So then I had the griffin up. I have the griffin up here, and he wraps around my shoulder. And then I said, "Okay, well let's let's do an eagle. Let's and griffins down, or an eagle and lions down here." And that was kind of the plan. Um, but it, it it happened kind of in pieces. Mm. Yeah, mm. those are kind of some of my favorite tattoos, personally, because my roommate he is also building it piece by piece, mm -hmm. and I kind of love it because every single one of them on his arm is a different story. Yeah. 
you know, and it's something that that you can like inquire about. So it's such a good conversation starter, which is why I'm kind of bummed that I, I may never have them, you know, just due to that, do that promise and like, <clears throat> I don't know, it, they just seem like they're they're so cool, and I wish I could also dial back like how intensely I'd take them, you yeah. know. Mm -hmm. but yeah, like, that's how I feel. It's a it's an interesting one though, like when you're raised to not have them like as an option, it's weird to like even play with the idea of them. Yeah. 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 No, it's different for everybody for sure. Yeah. And you know, you are demarking your body and you know, that's, uh, according to a lot of religious traditions, that's not exactly what you're supposed to do. But then according to other religious traditions, that's what you're supposed to right, do. Right. So mm -hmm. yeah. there, you know, yeah. if your body's a temple, they're the stained glass windows, brother. Yeah. Could be. Right? Yeah. You know what I mean? A little bit of art. Say that about the like Cadillac <laughs> tattoo on your thigh. <laughs> I don't know about yeah. that one. <laughs> Griffin, yeah. you're kind of going for that like patchwork of ideas look, I've noticed. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's uh that's definitely like my my favorite style of like coverage is just like wall to wall, almost like uh like an art gallery. Like you're just covered yeah. in individual pieces. Yeah, I like that a lot. Yeah. Crazy. So, anyway, Jordan, Col not Coleman, Jordan Allen. Sorry. Yeah. Beans. She just goes by JC now, and and it's I basically just, am Jordan. We've kind of settled. I just I want that to be known. I, I don't know Jordan Coleman if you're okay with this, but we've kind of settled on JC. You haven't objected, so. Yeah, it sounds cool too. Like everyone's into it, and then like I'll just take Jordan, and then you can take that. I, I don't know, man. <laughs> Everybody's into it. I like, do like <laughs> JC, but you're you go as Jalen. Yeah. Yeah, I do. I do. Unless Jordan it's Nick, he calls Jalen. you Jolin. Jolin. And some people who <laughs> just want to watch the world burn look at her <laughs> while saying Jordan, but are talking to me. And that's my favorite. That's is my it, favorite moment. Is it? <laughs> I can feel. I can, well, I can cut the tension with a knife. All right, let's move yeah. on. <laughs> big fan, big fan. Jalen. Yes. You, you got married and you went on a honeymoon. Dude, I did. We have I got some married. questions. Yeah. Ring on the before fame. you actually talk about it, I have a question. We've been wondering if your wife is in fact a real person. If she's real, not. yeah. Yeah. It's I'm gonna meet her this weekend. So <laughs> I'm excited. Like it's all been building to this. I'm only down about 200 grand. I keep sending her money over Zal and Venmo. And, you know, she, her flight's coming in she's this weekend, baby. Meet. Yeah, this is gonna be <laughs> I can't wait, dude. Jake, Jalen yeah. already lost his Redding Wing. Once with my redding wig, red, red and green, <laughs> wedding red, ring, red and wig. <laughs> oh. what, this morning, so you're like three days in. No, all that matters is I got it on now, okay. <laughs> and I've I've actually gotten used to it very quickly, but yeah, it's crazy. It's crazy being a married man. Sorry, boys, I'm off the market. I'm Jordan's gone. Jordan's off the market. I'm done. Uh, so I, you know, quick story about that. I lost my wedding ring. Um, oh, and uh, it was it was my dad's wedding ring. Oh, um, no. So oh no! It was just the ultimate oh. burn. Yeah, in That's the studio, I took it off. Uh, it was like a Friday. I was about to go home. Uh, took it off, washed my hands, set it on the sink in the in the in the poop dungeon. Yeah, and uh, and I left the weekend. And there was a production that of a couple of friends <gasps> that that came in, and they had some extra people there that we didn't know. And someone took it. And somebody must have taken it because I that looked sucks. everywhere. Unless I, it went I, down the drain. No, it, it, I went, I looked everywhere, like down the drain, under the little cabinetry in there, like behind the toilet, in all the cracks, like everywhere. That Nowhere. sucks, man. Yeah, Who would take a was, ring? That's so lame. I don't, I don't know, know. But yeah, somebody must have because it was just gone. And yeah. since, the, since then, I haven't worn one because I was like, that was it. That was the one. Yeah. Is yours tattooed? No. Uh, I've I seen don't. people get the initials tattooed on their finger and Or just the actual band they tattoo too now. Oh really? Yeah, they just tattoo a band. I, I like the the rubber ones. I've always, you know, we we've been talking about doing that for a little while. And I know they tear a lot, but I'm just worried wearing this around. No, yeah. More for like no, all you gotta events. do is is if is if you are in a conversation and you're not wearing one and somebody like starts talking to you, you know in that way as if like they're interested in you you just that's go, a daily occurrence for you, me man you, <laughs> <wow>. <laughs> the humility is unprecedented i flirt with myself in the mirror you just immediately yeah. you just immediately shift the conversation at least this is what i do i just immediately shift the conversation to my wife and children <laughs> that's the move 100 and then it's like 
you know. Yeah. And then the tone. But a lot of times they're like, oh, married must be a nice guy and they that's trying. the thing and how true is that i hear it all the time that people are actually more attracted to married men. because you know what it is it's a mark of value yeah it's that's like gross, oh dude. this this guy must be a keeper yeah let i'm me gonna try and take yeah. it <laughs> it's fucked up i know it's it so is gross. i rock oh this i rock this non-stop in vegas for the bachelor party weekend not not for mine but for a friend of mine yeah and i just i didn't take it off i like it i, I really like it and i like how it looks, it looks too good. It makes me feel more adult than I feel a lot of the time. Well, because that's not. I know. I know. Yeah. So you're, it's you're a real you're juxtaposition. You're in Vegas with your wedding ring and like horse blinders on, just walking around screaming, <laughs> I love my wife. My wife. I love my wife. My wife. I have the photo up. I'm like, she's come. She's flying in this weekend. We're going to meet. She's real. You've got, like the, you've got the, the, the hamburger board wrapped over yeah. your shoulder of like your wife's picture. <laughs> Do not talk to me. I am happy. Leave me alone. I am happy. Oh man. Oh, but yeah, it's God. it's you know, obviously like you know, leading up to the wedding itself, like I I never planned anything in my life. I I'm the guy who will like show up to the thing and mm. have a good time, but man, I have so much respect for people who plan anything. So planning a wedding as like the first cold turkey move was way harder than I thought it was gonna be. And yeah. we did a backyard wedding thing. So we thought keeping it small and like that that would help a lot. Mm -hmm. But then mm -hmm. you gotta worry about things like what kind of cutlery do you want i don't even know there's more than one type dude i knew oh about the fork God. and the spoon and the knife but there's oh, yes. like metals there's Salad different fork. metals yeah, yeah. Soup there's spoon. use the soup same spoon. thing shrimp shrimp spoon shrimp sticks shrimp like spoon. what is a shrimp stick and why is it nine dollars <laughs> per shrimp stick to rent and then they find out it's wedding and they bump the heck out of the price of oh, everything man. it's absurd when, man when wendy and i were looking at it so we we got married under kind of interesting circumstances like we had been dating for what was that like uh four years and when i by the time i asked her and um we were in minnesota helping take care of my dad because he was like he was sick and he and he, had, and he passed away at the end of it and it was kind of sad and we looked at the cost and we were like okay we have 15,000 maybe to mm. spend on this and that included the ring oh wow because I, ha I hadn't bought the ring yet yeah um and so we we were just like man like the last thing we want to do after doing nine months of this like life excursion is mm. then plan another thing and spend like money we don't have on on this thing and so we just got married in our backyard and the I had my, my brothers uh and my and my sister came up with their families and we just did like a nice thing in orange county on uh, like mm -hmm. newport beach and that was it and i'm glad we did i mean my aunt was kind of mad she was like this would be the perfect thing to like get the family together but i i just i couldn't do it <laughs> yeah when you go get married <laughs> i know and that's the thing like you you do have to put your foot down with like you know mm -hmm. what the family wants to and it's a, it's such a like a trade-off of yeah what do you want versus what do they want and honestly going in i was i will equate it to this i i had uh, a5 wagyu at a place called alexander steakhouse in pasadena <clears throat> i did it for for adrian adrian is my wife at the time we were three years in and she'd always wanted to try it it was two, it was a i think it was 180 dollars or something for three ounces Something oh absurd. God, I, I don't remember. It was absurd. <laughs> but they're one of like 30 I odd start places. Wagyu, bro. Dude, they're one of like Shoot. 30 odd places in either California or the US. I don't remember that is certified to serve this grade of A5 Wagyu from Japan or something. They have a big plaque on the wall. Might be BS, but I believe it. And we went in there and I was like, there's no way this is going to be worth it. But we'll fork out the money for the experience and then just call it a day. And it came mm. out and we spent, I'm not even lying, we spent over an hour eating three ounces of steak. Because we were just in absolute ecstasy. I burned through all my serotonin and I was physically exhausted by the end. And I was like, I can't believe it, but it was actually worth it. Okay. And that's how I felt about the actual wedding itself. Not the act of getting married, but the moment. And like yeah. the family being there and like looking up and seeing my, my parents and you know, like th those kind of precious moments, you, you kind of think, oh, it'll be a blur and oh, it's so expensive. And then all of that melted away in the moment. And I was mm -hmm. just a total crybaby. And it's like, it's weird to have a clear cut best day of your life, yeah. but it's like so easily mm. that, that, yeah, I know it's, it's really cool, man. So I'm buzzing. We're just, we're, we're goofy right now, man. We're, we just moved into our new place and we're, we're just Neighbor. excited. I mean, we don't have a couch. Like we're, we're literally sitting, eating, take, take out on a, on a twin mattress, which is our makeshift <laughs> couch. And we're just, we're loving every second of it, man. It's like the yeah. best.
it's definitely I get, I get the the idea of like the honeymoon phase yeah. right it's like everything's just exciting and I'm, we're digging it man so i love the fact great. that you guys like, waited and then like lived together after the yeah. fact you don't see that yeah very often anymore it's interesting it's like a, the next chapter like i i kind of live my life in chapter phases yeah. and i like that personally and i try to soak up as much of the current chapter as possible like mm -hmm. all the aspects of it so for me the idea of roommates and like mm -hmm. just having your boys and going home i had three roommates so i just go home and the four of us would just watch sports and hang out and yeah. go out and and now that that chapter's closed, it's like, this is the new exciting one. So we're like discovering all these things about each other in this new phase. And man, I'm, I could go on about it forever, which is why I don't talk about it. Cause then I just turn goofy and <laughs> everyone gets awkward. <laughs> I, love so you, I love it, dude. Did you really go to Bora Bora for your honeymoon? Dude, I look from the beginning. I said, if we're spending anything on the wedding, I want to, I want to drop buckets on the honeymoon. I care, I care more about the honeymoon than I do about the wedding. God. And I have from the beginning because the honeymoon is like, you only get that once, dude. Mm -hmm. Like that's the special time. It's just where, you two. Yeah, it's you two. You like get to just goof out together and like yeah. be together twenty four seven for this period and experience anything you want. And I asked her, I was like, "What? Like, what are you? What is your dream honeymoon?" And she's like, "Oh, I've always just I don't know if it's doable, but I always wanted the overwater bungalows." Mm -hmm. And I was like, "No joke, that is my exact dream honeymoon." So I was like, "We have to do it." And so. Yeah. You know, I'm like, we, we do this once. This is the only real reason where I can feel good dropping stupid money. Uh, and there's no other real reason where I could like quantify it in my life. And so it's like, let's just do the best and just taste it. Taste that life for just a moment and then just know how how good it can be. <laughs> and so we went Bora Bora over water bungalow at the St. Regis That's and it was like- so far into the middle of the Pacific Ocean. I it's can't crazy. Even... It's a speck. I'm looking at it on a map right now. It is- it's so cool. It's what a spec. I don't know how they found it. I see it on Instagram all oh, the time. Ha it's like it, halfway between Australia and California. And yeah. Yeah. It's like but in between Australia south. and Mexico. It's kind of nuts. That's now, a pretty it, far distance. It is. It was a, like <laughs> yeah, an eight hour, right nine hour flight. Mexico and Australia. <laughs> yeah, you know? yeah. Are those walkways really as clear as what like TikTok makes I'm it not, seem? Jordan, I'm not joking. Look, here's Where's anyone on those walkways. The, the best way I can describe it is this. If you die and you go to heaven, this is the waiting room for heaven. Nice. It's it's <laughs> it's untouched. It's like yes, there are there are westerners there, and there are like a couple resorts there. But the same region is the biggest one, and there's like ninety like villas or whatever, and that's the biggest one. So in total, you're looking at like maybe a thousand westerners are there, but the rest of it is just like this insane untouched gem. <laughs> and looking at the sunset silhouetting the mountains in Bora Bora, <laughs> it felt like a two D animation. Like at any point, like it was a miniature or something, stop mm. motion. And it felt like you could see hands reaching over the mountains and like picking things up because it was too perfect. And then the, the uh, stars would come out and there's no moon there right now. Like they have, uh, you know, 53 days in a row or whatever where there's no moon in the sky. Oh. And what that means is your eyes exposed for the stars and you get to see so much more of like the sky uh, and you get to see like the dust of the Milky Way and you can even see a black hole. So it's like, what? It, it feels like a different world. Uh, and it felt like we shouldn't be there. So we got pampered up the wazoo. It was absurd. It was like the greatest five days. I hope you have pictures. because Oh, have yeah. she Because I left my phone. <laughs> Jake, I don't know if you know this. Oh, God, yeah. I, I got really sick before we left. No. Extreme. Like the sickest I've ever been. And I was like hot and like kind of passing out. But we couldn't change the flights. They're so expensive. We couldn't we yeah. couldn't change anything. So no. I'm like in the waiting room at LAX, just on my deathbed, <laughs> lying on the floor <laughs> outside the gate, just slowly dying. And we get called onto our flight. And I'm in such like a, st a zombie state that I just get up and walk into the plane. <laughs> and only when I'm there and seated in my seat, I go to get my phone. And <laughs> it's not oh, in any of my pockets. <laughs> and then I realize, good Lord, I put it next to me in the gate. And once you're in the plane, they don't let you off. Yeah. You're done. So I beg, I'm begging the the French speaking because we went Air France or whatever. So the yeah. French speaking stewardess, and she didn't understand what I was talking about, but she right. basically let me know I can't go off. And at the last second before we go, and I'm just, you know, when I get back, I have to do a new phone, I have to rebuild all of it. It's chaos. And I got a call on my uh, my Apple Watch, and it was um, one of the Air France employees who had found it and said we're going to put it in storage. And they did, thank God. I think it's because it shattered on the back. Yeah, no it's one wanted rushed to steal it. And is vent. it still the vent one? <laughs> and is I think that's the why they, they didn't <laughs> take it. No one took it because it looks like it's destroyed. You can't sell that. <laughs> it's genius. It's yeah. the perfect camouflage. So yeah, anyhow, maybe I'll never fix it. You know, <laughs> they should make cracked phone cases that just look it's like they're cracked. Genius. So no one will ever take it. It's genius. Phone. So yeah, so Adrian has all the photos of the trip and man, it was, it was bonkers. So now we know how good it can be.
So yeah. it's like a, it's like an old volcano. It is, yeah. Like the whole yeah. thing, and I guess the island sinks over time, and that yeah, it looks land. Like it's, it looks like it's sinking because it, yeah, know, it's like a bar- It's like a barrier reef where it has the ring reef yes. or the ring island oh, around it, and then there's the mountain top in the middle, mm-hmm. and it's surrounded by water. Yeah, and yeah. it sinks and it creates those uh, matus. I think they're called something like that, where it's like the yeah. flatland, and eventually that whole mountain will be gone. Wow. And was, it'll just be the flatlands. So I need, I need to get there. You need to get. It's going to be gone in three months, dude. I'm gonna, go, go, go. <laughs> Book your flight. Go. No, it's uh, it's like a centimeter a year or something. But oh. right. it is it is kind of crazy. So yeah, you you have a couple. You only have a couple million years left. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you better yeah. book it now. Because flight prices just go up the closer you Book get. Book now, guys. Book now. Yeah. Yeah. I will say it's like how much, like it's so much more worth it to pay for that. For you guys to have that experience, because at the end of the day, for weddings, mm-hmm. you're just paying for everyone else to have an experience at your wedding. Yeah. So it's like true. if you pay fifty dollars or five thousand, if everyone's there and they love you, they're gonna enjoy it. Yeah. But a five dollar honeymoon compared to this is however much that was. Yeah. This is this was very much like the treat of hey, we plan the the only thing and the biggest thing that we've ever planned. Yeah. Let's treat ourselves and like unwind and reset. And, and you were there for like a whole week. Yeah, yeah. It was like five nights, six days. It was amazing. Amazing. But I'm glad to be back, guys, because I don't know. I always get that creative itch. Whenever I go on vacation, yeah. I'm always just like, I want to make something. So mm-hmm. when we got back, yeah. I was just so revved and ready to go. And I came in with some hot energy on Tuesday. Some and I needed ideas. to dial that, 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 that back a little bit. But yeah, I'm just ready to create. <laughs> now that we're doing the Animorphs thing. I'm scared. Dude. <laughs> This is like the perfect. I'm so happy. They photo scanned me yesterday. I don't even want to know. Yeah, it's it's a weird one. Griffin has this tendency to walk by our desks at the worst possible time. It's it's insane how consistently he plans do it. it. He plans it. Yeah, I you mean, must plan it. Y'all are just doing some like really cursed stuff uh, <laughs> all, all the time. Yeah, it's like every time. It is every time, and. It's yeah, I'm starting to question myself. I think at a certain point, I can't keep saying, Well, his timing is just perfect. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's uh, that idea. I'm very excited about. I mean, can I, yeah, am I cool to go into it a little bit? Jake? Yeah, yeah, we're, we're taking the animals out of animorphs. <laughs> it's so good, dude. Oh, it's so dumb. And like, we were all sitting, you know, brainstorming an idea and. Uh, Ren is actually reading Animorphs right now, and so yeah, he happened to be he happened to be reading Animorphs. Yeah, and you know the covers. Everybody knows the covers of the transformation to the to the animal, and yeah. how cursed those are. Like the in between photo of like the bug boy who's yeah. clearly in pain. <laughs> um, Dude, starfish girl, starfish girl. Yes, oh, oh, starfish they're, they're girl iconic. Is a, cl- a classic. Otter oh. boy, like yeah, there's there's so many good ones, and you know we all grew up with them, like in the either the library or the book fair or yeah. whatever. So we all knew about them, and it's like, what can we do with this? Because we've always wanted to do something with animorphs, and yeah, if finally it came to fruition, and we put our heads together, and eventually came up with the idea we have of taking the animals out of them and having the yeah. transition be just from me <laughs> to the animal form, but the animal part never appears. It's just my body being crushed into the shape of, you know, an otter or whatever the animal is. <laughs> and it just being just a skin tomb, essentially, of this beast that <laughs> wants to die. Skin like, tomb. Everyone's favorite part of the Animorphs is the in-between. And so we take it to the very uh, end and, because you can still see the person. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. now we just strip away all the animal and take you to the very end. And How do you guys choosing what animal goes with which person? It's... You have to, you have to feel it. Yeah, what's your mean? spirit animal? What is your spirit yeah. animal, JC? Let's, yeah, like a sea turtle. A, a sea turtle. A sea turtle. Yeah, it's my favorite animal. Oh, I love Why, the way they live, man. Well, I love the ocean, just mm. like the vastness. You can kind of get lost in it. Okay. And it's peaceful, and mm. they live long, simple lives. Yeah. They're they like, do. hey, I need to lay some eggs. Crawl up to the sand. Drop All them. right, guys. Hope you find your way. Yeah. They go back and they just chill. <laughs> Dang. You yeah. know, it's like this is, they're not really stressing and they don't really have like many, many predators either. Like sea, actual sea turtles. Yeah. Not once they're full grown. Yeah. So do of you, do you relate little, to them because you feel like you're similar to them or why are they your spirit <laughs> animal? I think because I love the ocean and I love being deep into the ocean. Like I like feeling lost and like I don't, I like when it gets so cold that your feet can't touch. And you kind of you're like, oh, Mother Nature has more Doesn't control terrify than you. I do. Yeah, and maybe that comes from like me living in Florida and like hurricanes, and we mm-hmm. go out really deep and just I love the idea of Mother Nature taking its course rather than like us as humans think that we can have all of this control and like really nothing is in our control at the end of the day. 
That's how I feel about water. Yeah, that's yeah. how you should feel about water, I think. Yeah, I but almost only, died But if way. you're just like paddling at the shore, like that's nothing compared to like just diving like in the middle. Like I'll be out in the Pacific Ocean, like see dolphins. I'll just dive in with them. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I, I don't know. I love it. And you have a you big know, portable shell you take. You're not telling us about. You just yeah, I, I slip to, into it I for protection. To act like I'm a sea turtle. Hang out with them. <laughs> yeah, it's actually some weird thing that you're not telling us about. Sea turtle. Mm. <laughs> Griffin, what about you? What's yours? Um, the animal I relate to the most. You know, um, I don't know. I don't really like. A want to give you that ammunition. <laughs> <laughs> and B, that's oh, a smart on, man Griffin. right there. Dude. Come on, that's Griffin. Smart man. Uh, you can you've never thought me. about what spirit animal you are, or what animal you just like. What animal? I, I mean, my favorite animal for like my entire life has been sharks. Mm. I've always found sharks to be really cool and really fascinating. Um, just all the many different varieties and um, how how ridiculously fine tuned they are to do like one specific thing, mm -hmm. which is eat. <laughs> one specific kind of animal at <laughs> a, a, an alarming rate yeah. and uh, survive for millions of years. Yeah. Not one shark. They don't live for millions of years, but like they've been around like, aren't they like one of the, the oldest uh, tw 20 million years or so? Whoa. Yeah. yeah. Well, there's the Megalodon too, right? Like cool. you, you know, the Megalodon. Oh yeah. Megalodon is uh, God, dude. Can you imagine? The world existed? must've been a terrifying place. Oh yeah, dude. <laughs> Wow. Yeah, I, there's a megalodon skull, I think, it, in uh, New York at the Natural History Museum. And it's bonkers. Well, uh, it's probably just the jaws because uh, sharks, uh, except for their jaws and their teeth, do not actually have solid bones. They have cartilage skeletons. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, it's probably just the jaw. There's a jaw, you know there's a jaw like uh, at the San Antonio Aquarium, there's a jaw replica of the size of the oh maybe that's what it mouth. is then and you can stand in it almost yeah Man, that's we have one of those at our bass pro shops in florida they don't, other than okay. other than teeth they don't have bones what yeah i think it's sure. more like lions lions it's those are lions, lions, have, have, lions, have, lions, lions have, have bones have bones yeah yeah why are you saying yeah <laughs> <laughs> no i said I, I said i think you're thinking of lion teeth. oh, oh, oh. You're thinking of lion teeth. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Why Honestly, is he thinking of a lion? What do you mean? Aquatic know. aquatic life is, is such <laughs> uh, such a fascinating thing though. Like, but when I was a little kid, I I wanted to be um, like my dream job was like marine biologist. Like I wanted oh, to like cool. study sea life because it it's it's crazy. Like you like learning about like sperm whales and how mm. they like did you know that if you're in the water near a sperm whale and it decides to like ping you with its sonar full force um it could kill you because of how loud it is what yeah they and they, they will Did do it at that. a lower volume because they know you're alive like they're very 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 smart and like when they're just checking you out to see what you are they'll kind of pulse their sonar through you to like look at your insides and apparently you can start to feel your body heating up from the right. like Whoa. the amount of kinetic energy that is passing like a through. microwave wow yeah, it, so it's it's cool. it's bananas there's yeah. whales are like like sperm whales um some marine biologists theorize that like their 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 clicking and their calls is like potentially a language that is like <clears throat> more complex than human speech and we just like haven't figured it out cuz it's not you know relatable to any kind of linguistics that like humans have mm. and yeah that's crazy yeah, whales marine marine life it is it is a crazy crazy world beluga whales they said that they're like the canaries of the sea because they talk so much it's just like oh. constant i don't want, want to do whale noises right now but yeah <laughs> i used to i used to have a, a stuffed beluga whale actually that i would like oh. sleep with every night I'm like kind of like you. I really like aquatic animals. I think we're diving in and figuring out what your uh, what your spirit animal yeah. would be. Mm. It's a sperm whale. <laughs> <laughs> Something in the sea. It's a mighty and beautiful creature. It truly is. Yeah, there's because correct me if I'm wrong. Maybe you know this. Sharks they can sense your like the electricity in your body. They can smell the fear. Yes. They, yes, because they, they can sense your fear. Because my dad and I, uh, as a birthday gift for him, we, we took a trip to um, South Africa quite a few years ago. And at Cape Town, there's tons of great whites. 
Yeah. And we went shark diving in the little oh. cage oh cages. That's a bucket list item for me. Yeah. yeah and they threw a foam seal on the surface. They hadn't had any sightings in a few days. So we weren't really holding our breath there. But they threw a foam seal just in the shape of one. And I wasn't scared of the ocean going into this trip. And watching the just the black water, just a mouth emerge out of the nothingness yeah. and bite it clean in half and then disappear all fast. <laughs> I had a whole new appreciation for how terrifying, and especially when they told me, hey, when you get in there, they're going to know you're there and they're going to know you're scared. And if they know you're scared, they know you're prey. And if they know you're prey, they may just want to take a bite out of curiosity. Mm. Um, and they don't like humans, so they probably won't finish the meal. But then you're down a leg. <laughs> and I'm like, that's... That's awful. Yeah. So not yeah, only do you have to be in the water, you have to be chill. They're just gonna like, mutilate you. you yeah, live just to out of tell curiosity. The tale. I, ima I, I imagine that there is, there is, like you see pictures of great whites, and you're like, oh yeah, that's big. But I imagine seeing one in person, like there's no way to prepare yourself. They're like for how twenty big feet and long. Scary that is. Yeah, that's so crazy. Some of and them this, can be. I think. Let me look that up. I, yeah, the, I think, the, I think yeah. twenty-six. Because this one was a younger one, so it was thirteen feet, and that alone was humongous. So I can't okay, imagine so double females, the size. Females can get up to 16 feet. Oh, it's up to 16. Wait, really? Oh, how big can males get? Wait, wait, wait. Okay, the longest one. Always... The largest white shark re reliably measured was 21 feet. 21, okay, 21. Yeah. So yeah, 13, I guess is, you know, it's still big, but it felt, it felt humongous. And how but fast bites it bites and whale carcasses from Southern Australia suggest that some are as long as 25 feet. Oh, dang, That's son. so... Crazy. The guy who was on the boat had been working there for one season and he says during whatever the seal season is where the seals are moving through, he says he saw five get caught in a day on the on the water where they're like jumping out and trying to get away and sharks are just coming out of nowhere just munching yeah. them. Like that must be the so craziest 20, thing. Twenty to feet. Twenty feet is the height from the floor of our studio to the low part of the bow. The bow. Get out of the <gasps> bow truss. Yeah. Forget that, dude. <laughs> Forget that. Why does that exist? <laughs> because dude. the ocean is vast. It's huge. Like, the they can be that big because there's plenty of room and there's not a bunch of people building cities under there. Yet. We're coming yeah. for you. Yeah, yeah, we're coming for you, great whites. <laughs> and, like, being suspended in a... In a, <clears throat> in a liquid, you know, allows for, like, larger bodies mm. to Buoyancy. develop. Because, yeah. Yeah gravity doesn't have as much of an effect on like they don't have like sharks don't have knees yeah mm. they don't have to have knees to like hold them up like elephants right. got knees i don't yeah. know if you knew that but i didn't that's actually really interesting <laughs> well i made a joke literally today that manatees have no bones and they're just bags of meat and so like obviously you. i was joking <laughs> well thank you so much obviously i was joking and to hear now in the same day that sharks don't have bones and they're just bags of meat and cartilage <laughs> You've mm -hmm. you've shooketh me to my core, dude. They're 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 so. Let's see if like, manatees oof. have bones. Hold on, manatees have bones. I've been looking at manatee bones almost all day. Like the, sharks, sharks are so <laughs> like they're like the what? opposite of manatees, man. <laughs> like sharks, oh, they sharks do have, have bones. Yeah, sharks oh, have actually teeth they, for skin. They well, manatees are are manatees mammals. Manatees yes. are man. They they waddle up on land. They need them bones. We I might think need they're to fact mammals. Check that. I don't, Let's I, see. I don't know if they. Well, you can uh, manatees mammal. waddle up on land. They are mammals. Dolphins okay, are mammals. So, so mammals, yeah, that so that makes sense because even their their little fins are actually just yeah. hands. They got fingers. Yeah. They have, they can't they have use bones them. in there. Yeah, they have. There's hand. There's finger bones in there. Um, I I did Google sea turtle because we had asked about how old a shark is. 110 million years. Wow. Sea turtles. Oh God, wow. I was way off. Yeah. And they said that they were there. Wait, the turtles or sharks? Sea turtles. Turtles. Well, yeah, 110. Okay. 110. Okay. For for me, the ocean, like the deeper you get, the more I love it. Like when you start getting to the level of where they're translucent and emitting their own sources of light, the angler oh, yeah. fish. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. When I read that as a child. Bioluminescence. Oh my Dude. gosh, that lived in my dreams for years. Just the freaking ghouls at the bottom oh, of the ocean. That's yes. why James Cameron just got his submarine and was like, I'm out. Oh, I saw ghouls in person. That's mm -hmm. so sick. Have you guys ever seen the, the algae that occurs like once a year? It's like this, like it's like the bioluminescent. The, it, when every, when like boats go through mm -hmm. any type, yeah, the it's waves so crash cool. and it just is neon blue. Oh, it's so mm -hmm. cool. It's beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, oh, it's so cool down there. All right, Jordan, <laughs> Jordan Allen, what say you about your <laughs> about your uh, about your spirit animal? Oh, about my spirit animal. Yeah, 
I'm kind of curious for you to assign me one real quick. I have one in my mind, but I'm curious. I'm curious what what the outside world would think. Oh. Uh, you might not like mine, but the first thing that comes to mind is a prairie dog. <laughs> prairie dog? Why prairie? Because, <laughs> pra- you know, like they're they're always happy and they're always oh, like... Oh, well, that's sweet, isn't it? They're always like friendly and wanting to play and like good natured. I feel yeah. like I get that vibe from you. Wow, those that's are like wonderful. those are like really really good dogs. Yeah, Daniel gave me golden retriever, which I thought was so no lovely. no not a dog, a prairie dog, a prairie dog. Yeah, I don't know the difference, but I'm putting like, it on you. Like specifically a prairie dog. No, not dog. Oh, it's a rodent. You know, that's a rat, Jake. That's not. A that's rat. not a dog. <laughs> Go for that's it. That's not a dog. Oh no, that's a lie. I, oh, this, it's this called a prairie dog. It's a rat. <laughs> it's this a herbivorous funny. burrowing ground squirrel native to the grasslands of North America. Is it my teeth? Is that why? It's giving no. meerkat. <laughs> it's giving beaver. Meerkat. Beaver. Meerkat. That's another name for it. Oh, man. Oh, wow. okay. Yeah. Meerkat. Okay. Weird that they put dog in the name. <laughs> That's a weird, weird choice. Because I was thinking of like Lassie. Yeah, right. I was too. And I was like, how lovely. Are meerkats the same as a... Uh... No, no mere, meerkats. Is... No, meerkats are, are Lion King. Okay, How that's wild. what I, that's what I was thinking of. Not a prairie dog. I was thinking of a oh, meerkat. Okay. Yeah. Oh, meerkats yeah. are cool. They're I've, they're very pol- like. Uh, kind of I feel like meerkats are not your energy because if, if memory serves me right, meerkats are uh, incredibly homicidal creatures. Apparently, they, <laughs> they apparently they kill each other in in huge numbers. They're oh, very really? aggressive. Is that true? Really? If memory serves me right, I have pretty bad memory, but I that's, I feel like there's wow. a bi- Griffin, there's biologists. is it all the podcasts you listen to that gives you this random information, this yes. random batch of trivial I love it, dude. Yeah. 20% of meerkat deaths are murders? Meerkat yeah. mothers killing the offspring meerkats of other Meerkats are females. highly social, form packs of 2 to 30. Ew, look how, look how evil. Look at that picture dude. they chose. Actually, that is kind of like I me. see it now. <laughs> Dark the number gem. one most murderous mammal. <laughs> well, that's <laughs> definitely not what I meant. <laughs> that's the best twist I could have ever hoped for. <laughs> this is the a dark number one most murderous mammal. I used to have a meerkat stuffed animal. Did you? What is with you and all the animal stuffed? Animals? I have a stuffed turtle. I have two stuffed turtles at okay. home. Yeah, it's a lot of. I know people. You probably wouldn't think that of me. Yeah. Yeah. Two's Comfort. not that many. I Two only turtles. Ha- I only have one animal at a time. <laughs> are you <laughs> sure? Okay. Are you sure that meerkats are this aggressive towards one? They're another? murderous, man. It just said it. We just Googled it. It oh. said what's the number one aggressive mammal? Okay, I thought hippos yeah. were, honestly. 37% between... of the knifings in the Serengeti are meerkats. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, the other 70% are me. <laughs> <laughs> Did you know that 37% of the knifings in Sub-Saharan Africa are meerkats? <laughs> are done by meerkats? Just running around with a little bag. <laughs> <laughs> Did you lock the back door, honey? <laughs> no, why? <laughs> <laughs> oh no, they're coming. Encounters between members of different packs are highly aggressive, leading to severe injuries and often deaths. 19% of meerkats die by cons- conspe- conspecific violence. I, th- I assume that means not specific. species on species crime. Oh. Wow. Non-specific. That's, a, that's oh. a fascinating fact. Wow. What does conspecific violence mean? Let me hold on. We're doing I this, if it means, guys. Like, there's no like rhyme or reason to why they're killing. Belonging they're to the like... same species. Okay, yeah. Mm. Mm. So there you go. That's definitely not what I meant, Jordan. I meant wow. like your your carefree, friendly nature and your oh my gosh. Gen- generally amic- amicable attitude. Not the knifings because those are just alleged at this stage. <laughs> so maybe we just go with the Nobody golden proved retriever. Anything. <laughs> Nobody proved anything. I've always resonated with the naked chimp. Mm. You know I mean? I, that's not a species. Chimps man. That's are pretty a... violent, violent too, though. They oh, are, yeah. man. I have seen you throw your shit before. Yeah, well, <laughs> why, were you, why were you in there? <laughs> why were you in there? I thought I locked that door. Oh, that, yeah, that was that time that he like we we found him and then he got really embarrassed. Said he was like yeah. method acting, but yeah. we asked him for what, and he like we had to wash him off. I was in character. Yeah. For the thing. Which character? We the all got thing. pink eye afterwards. <laughs> yeah. All right. So your your <laughs> self ascribed spirit animal is a chimpanzee. Naked chimp. 
Well, they're and all very specific. Are... specific to, no, well, n some are more naked than others, Jake. What? I want you to Google a... naked chimp oh, because naked chimpanzee. Boy, oh boy! Look, if, oh, if God. you're if this you're isn't... Is this an actual species? <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> They're the second most murderous <laughs> animal. <laughs> I don't. I don't think. I don't, I don't think naked chimpanzee is a subspecies. I think it's just a chimpanzee that's it's lost all its hair. No, 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 no. It's a chimp that plays by its own rules and shows right. what it wants to show. Uh, ha hairless mutation. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm hairless. <laughs> this is from this is from the National Institute of Health. A hairless mutation introduced into the chimpanzee human last common ancestor six million years ago diverged hairless human and hairy chimpanzee lineages. Uh, that doesn't mean that. Oh God, this is a real thing. <laughs> oh yeah, welcome. So why do you welcome to the Brotherhood? Why? <laughs> Wait, so so your your Welcome spirit the guide brotherhood. your guide into the spirit realm <laughs> is the missing link. <laughs> yes, yes. Yes. I think That's we all need to go watch play. Brother Bear and come back tomorrow. What is that? Shout out Aaron <gasps> Blaze. Oh. Wait. You haven't seen Brother Bear? No. no. I watch a surprisingly few Blaze, amount right? of movies. Growing up. I always intend Pretty to. Pretty sure I had it on VHS. Oh, this is an old one. Yeah, brother Bear. I don't know when it came out. Huh. Jake is just Dude, still sorry, so this immersed is in the I'm like, what? <laughs> I did the same thing, man. It's okay. <laughs> it takes a while to like adjust. You're, yeah, you're whole, yeah, yeah, the, the whole worldview shifts. Reframing my worldview, real quick. 2003. We should get, uh, we should get a chimpanzee, there. dude. They're out there. <laughs> <laughs> Just imagine oh. the background of corridor like crew videos. There's just like a chimpanzee in a diaper, and someone's like running after like, Monty. No, Monty, Monty, Monty come back. It's probably me. <laughs> oh my god, probably me. Yeah, yep, yep, yeah. I haven't so stopped thinking why? about him since. So why? Yeah. Why? Why? It's, this decision? I mean, Justify look at them, you know? <laughs> There's there's a beauty in how they just bear all. You know what I mean? They're just <laughs> they are who they are. They hide nothing. They show the world, and the world judges them for it. <laughs> the world, <laughs> they're, so, they're just so ugly, man. I love them. The most... I don't know. They're just my favorite animal. Oh my I God. love them, dude. They're weird. God. Look at this thing, man. Oh, that looks like when you go over to Grandpa's house too early. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh, I didn't know you were here yet. <laughs> that is a big <laughs> ball sack. That's the sack of sacks, man. Yeah. It's, oh dude, man, balls. Grandpa, what? Tell balls. me about the war. <laughs> Tell me about oh. <laughs> Grandpa, it's please. crazy how we talked I mean, about they this. look like us. I told oh, you yeah. friends were coming we, over. We share like ninety-seven percent of the same DNA. Yeah. yeah. So now that like you, you see it hairless, and you're really like, that's us. That's us, dude. Uh, yeah, look at him. I said, that's off. me. We are I'm just kind of, we are just naked chimps. Just yeah. We just split six million years ago. That's about it. Yeah. yeah. Just a little bit better posture. Man, they got the <laughs> some was. people. They got to keep the the hand feet, and we got the gene that like we invented Coca Cola. <laughs> right. I feel like they got the better end of the deal, dude. Yeah. They're they're so strong though. Like actually, Christian, can you pull up that picture one more time? Yeah, these things are like, jacked. Like they're looking at their muscles, you'd kind of think that they're like kind of strong, right? But their their muscles are like so much stronger than our muscles. It's like oh, those pit bulls that have muscles. Yeah, they just rip your arms off. Chimps scare. Mm. Chimps actually scare me more than any other animal. Ooh. Look at that dude. Look at that dude. But you know their oh one gosh. weakness. They do have one severe weakness, and they share it with gorillas and also orangutans. They cannot float in water because their mus muscle and bone density is too high. Is that right? They sink in water. <gasps> gorillas, wow. chimpanzees, and I believe orangutans are like oh wow horribly afraid of water because they will just drop like a rock. It makes sense, man. It's like corded steel, dude. Those freaking <gasps> biceps. Yeah. And what's crazy is like obviously they're they're hyper intelligent monkeys are and they know when they attack you they know they know the parts to attack and that's the scariest part about them <laughs> they know the, like they know them. the soft spots and they're they're like they go for the balls both the eyeballs and the other ones right. and they go for the fingers they just look to maim you when right. they're mad and it's right. the most terrible. Now this has nothing to do with why I associate with them. <laughs> I just want to clarify that. I'm still trying to figure out why you associate with they're them. They're honestly, to be totally transparent, they're just my favorite. They're my favorite. 
So I, I want to try and be more like them. I, I don't think <laughs> you should. In some aspects. I don't think you should. Yeah, I go home and I just <sighs> strip completely. <laughs> <laughs> strip completely naked. Natural Look habitat. for someone to maim. <laughs> I don't know what animal I am, Woo. dude. I have no idea. No, you're the naked chimp. It's settled. Naked chimp oh, or the or the, the meerkat. Either the way, meerkat, I'm deadly, baby. Dude. Why are you so violent? What is this history know, of violence dude. that you have? It's, you know. Good I think lord. I, I think I smile too much and people don't trust that. So you know are I mean? we going to do an anamorph of you just morphing into a naked chimp? <laughs> <laughs> they, 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 Matt and Dean picked mine. I don't know what they picked, but... They they assigned me my my spirit animal. We okay. assigned everybody their spirit animal, you know, based on just we we had some conversations down here and I'm sure and worked through some stuff. Who did you and, let me let me hear it. Let me in on the insights. Who'd you? I mean, the video's not going to be out yet, so it's kind of a surprise. So I don't know that I want to spoil. All right, what if we're you're a core crew into, member but, and you're listening to this before the video's out, you're, you're you have to stop here. This is that? a warning. This is a warning. There will be yeah. a spoiler here. I'll give you one. I'll give you one tasty one. Uh, okay. Um. Matt, he doesn't know this yet. He really wanted to be an otter. I'm not sure why. I can kind of see it though. No, he's talked about he loves otters. <laughs> he loves Becoming otters. An and otter. He wants to be an otter, and uh, that's a whole thing with him. It's giving. It's otter. yeah. It's giving. It's giving otter. But the problem is, he asked to be an otter, and you can't. That's a no no. Mm, that's a no no that. in the animorphs world. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and so, being from Florida. Right. I don't even oh. remember why we talked about it on camera, and at the in the moment it felt like a perfect fit, but we made him a manatee. <laughs> and, oh, I thought you were going to say crocodile. No, we made him a manatee, and it's hilarious because watching the body morph because they they all start in like their normal standard position, so he's kind of just like he's he's begging in his uh, animation not to be changed, and then he just gets like <laughs> lifted off the ground, and his legs shrink and flatten, and his head grows big and oblong. And he just assumes the form of this busted manatee, and it's so freaking funny. It's going to be great. How are you hiding that from him uh, with the monitor situation being as close to his computer he's, as yours? He's, he's working from home today because oh, we're back okay. to back in the studio. Yeah. So he will just naturally glance over his shoulder. I do the same thing, and it would have ruined the whole thing. So either I was going to work down here in the podcast room where, and shut the curtains yeah. or take advantage of today. And we finished it today. And so... That's done. But for the other people Oof. who are going to see, I'm going to need to be sneaky. That's going to be the hardest part. Yeah. Sneaking around and making the transformations. But hmm. it's the it's the craziest video. It's I just keep I keep catching Daniel smiling and laughing watching it because it's so chaotic. And I don't know how he's going to do it, but Daniel is a master editor, so he'll find a way yes. to tell the story. He'll, he'll find a way. He'll he find a does. way. If anyone can, it's Daniel. Yeah. Oh, man. What it's have beautiful, we done? man. What <sighs> have we done? I woke up this morning with a big fat smile on my face, knowing I'd spend the day doing this. So, all right, it's bringing so, me joy. Last topic here, um, Jalen. W when you were away, we did a trick shots video, and it's coming. Yes. It's coming out this weekend. Uh, I heard about this in passing, and I don't know exactly what you did, mm -hmm. but my first thought was, how the heck did you do it without me? Like, how could you? How could you betray the one one? You know what I mean? So this is a this is officially a side quest to beat a, 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 a to get a side item so that I can beat you, which is my main boss. You have a side item? I uh, yeah, I have a side what item. What do you have? I can't tell you until. Do you know what you have, or are you still in? The I dark? know what I have. I, I know what he has. What is yeah. it going to work? It. I think it's going to work great. I think he, I think you're in for trouble. That's what I have to say about it. Do you know what this is? Uh, my, my headphones cut out for the last, uh, 45 seconds, so. <laughs> he says he has a side item to beat me in, uh, Dude Perfect, uh, trick CGI shots. Trickshot Render Challenge. Are you aware of this? Oh, you're talking about the, oh, uh, like the. Yeah. What is the that? Thing. What is that? Yeah. What thing. is that? The mm -hmm. thing with oh, the yeah, thing. Oh yeah, I know about this. Yeah. I love that you did this. I don't really understand it, but I know so what it is. So if you're interested in catching up on the saga, you can watch the the previous two where Jordan and I compete against each other. And uh this when by the time this podcast comes out, there'll be another one coming out oh my gosh, uh, I can't on wait. the weekend. And uh yeah. I had to face off against Sam. I can't wait to see that. He brought is he training he, you? Is he yes? Is he yeah. Judasing the CG well, Brotherhood? He, he he was honestly trying to beat me, but the lesson was to to break me so that he could rebuild me. Mm. Mm. 
So it's like your this is your Rocky montage, basically. Yes, this is totally my Rocky montage. So imagine the Rocky movie if at the end of the montage he's still lost. Because that's what you're gonna be watching. <laughs> <laughs> well, he, he lost, yeah, but the same way that Lightning McQueen loses in the first car. Oh, spoilers! Movie. Well, yeah, no, I'm kidding. That yet. It's like from 2006 or something. So <laughs> it's, it's actually still a victory. So no matter what, you're going to lose, Jordan. I just want you to know. I am fascinated to watch this. Um, <laughs> I might need to level up myself. We'll have to think about how I can how I can elevate because the Wally Future dude, it's it's right within my grasp. And mm. I've been enjoying the victory. There's been and some so comments about the going. wind too. I must warn you. Oh, have there? Oh, do people? Yeah. Well, here's the thing about CG, baby. I'm allowed to do whatever <laughs> I want. I'm the god in that CG world. I can control the winds if I want to. You can take There's the, nothing you can do about it. You can take the lid off the cup if you want to. I can take the lid off the cup. <laughs> or put it back on. First. Or keep it or on. Or put it back yeah. on, baby. It's yeah. my world. And you're merely you're living one. in it. Let me tell you. Yeah. Well, you're not because you're not in it. Anyway, it doesn't it's matter. A direct threat. Point is. The meerkat's coming out. Point is people can hate on the wind all they want. The wind exists in the real world and therefore can exist in my system. The difference is I can control it. Hmm. And haters going to hate. But winner's going to win. <laughs> Baby, I'm very excited. I've All enjoyed right. this saga right, so much. There you go. <laughs> you see where he's at, people. You see yeah. my enemy before me. Yeah. He must be defeated. We can't the allow Wally this The Wally future, to baby. I'm fighting for it. Unionize. I just <laughs> like saying that so much. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Oh. Sorry. Oh. All right. Well, I'm very excited about this Animorphs video. It'll be out the weekend after this episode comes out. Uh, and uh, man, after that, whole bunch of goodies in the bag we got that punch for punch episode coming out soon we got anime rock paper scissors 2 on deck wow so stay tuned everybody because it's gonna be a wild summer Woo. wow right, play is out baby you all ready <laughs> yeah <y'all. laughs> oh. i'm feeling murderous <laughs> thank you for turning <laughs> into the corridor podcast this week's podcast was sponsored by uh Meerkats, and chimpanzees. <laughs> the wild world of the undersea laugh. The number one murderous that was fantastic. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you on the next one. <laughs> <laughs>